What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing some modifications to the clutch pedal switch to get it to work a little bit better with the watt box. So basically how the clutch pedal switch works, um, I have a little demo unit here um, and it just has this plunger and once it gets far enough in it will activate um, or complete the circuit basically. So there's the two plugs going in or two prongs for the plug going in uh, and then they are suspended freely inside and then this black plunger has a piece of metal that will contact both metal prongs inside and complete the circuit so once this uh, gets pushed down far enough uh, you have a complete circuit so uh, when you push the clutch in boom it would activate you'd be able to start the car or engage the watt box um, the way it is set up now it just has too big of a gap so the pedal needs to be all the way to the floor to even engage this just a little bit um, and yeah we're gonna get rid of that so we'll add a little extension piece to the plunger and get it so it's making contact at the resting position and then it can engage uh, the clutch switch a lot sooner uh, we were having trouble with frying the clutch every time I would go for a no lift shift uh, you'd have to be really fast with the clutch all the way to the floor otherwise it would just burn through the clutch uh, the second you start letting any tension off that it just starts frying with how much power the car is making so we're gonna get rid of that so basically to make this extension piece I went ahead to AutoZone and picked up a vacuum cap assortment set so let me open this thing up so you guys can see what they are but basically uh, it's just a little nipple that you would put over a vacuum line or a T or whatever. Um, and yeah, we're going to use that. It'll just increase the length of the switch just enough. And hopefully we'll get a little bit more action out of the switch sooner. And we don't have to push the clutch to the floor to get the no lift shift to work or even the watt box in general. Or starting the car so it'll just kind of make the switch more usable in the car uh, with how it sits all right so there is the watt box in a daytime position you guys can see kind of how we mounted it up uh, just self tappered in there pretty freaking sturdy doesn't go anywhere we can always mess with the adjustment here and then the com port or whatever it's called is just right on the bottom here but anyway so we're gonna take out this bottom tray here uh, it is two t15 torques because I lost the one in the middle um, or well the tab broke in the middle and yeah, so we'll just get that pulled off and then we'll get the clutch switch out and then we can go ahead and modify it. All right, and then we pull this thing down if we can. Sorry. Look at that rat's nest, boys. Anyway, so we will undo the clutch switch up here. All right, and then it is a quarter turn uh, left, and boom, clutch switch comes out. There we go, and then we can modify this. All right, so this clutch switch looks a little bit different on the end. It has like this uh, flat spot. And this size seems to be what would fit. Um, still through the hole where this piece needs to go. And then also over this. Um, these are super rubbery, so I'll be able to flex it over that little knob. And uh, so like I was saying, it only needs to move in that far before it engages but it's only moving that far 
at the end of the clutch pedal stroke. So, um, and we've got all that movement there. So um, extending it won't overextend it and start uh, putting pressure on like its mounting points. So we should be good. And then also this thing is rubbery enough to absorb a little bit of extra um, force in case we do bottom it out prematurely, um, but it should be pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece on and then we'll throw it back in the car and see what happens. All right, so ghetto as heck, but we've got a little extension piece that's like an extra quarter inch of, yeah, probably like a quarter inch. So um, the clutch switch should engage uh, that much sooner and it is sturdy enough to hold its shape and then also flexible enough that if it were to bottom out prematurely, that would take up the rest of the slack in, or whatever, the clutch pedal wouldn't totally just blow out this plunger. It would actually get absorbed a little bit by this rubber piece here. So let's go put it back in the car, see what happens. so everything is installed we are going to sit here in the car Look at these keys so we'll turn the ignition on all right and blue light is on here uh, we can go full throttle here um, I have it set for about 70% throttle so before my foot all the way hits the ground you guys can see it is blinking and then there's full throttle there so um, I set up the throttle um, input voltage for this uh, at about 70% throttle and then uh, like I said the clutch pedal used to have to be all the way to the floor now we are that is about right when uh, it starts to get tough on the pedal so blinking there and then I have that much more to go so that made a huge difference so yeah awesome pretty easy install uh, this thing costed I think it was like 12 bucks after tax something like that and uh, I'm sure let's see if we start the car so I'm gonna turn the ignition so it is ready to start and then once the yeah so that is way sooner awesome so that made a huge difference on where uh, the clutch pedal needs to be to activate that stuff that is literally that's huge awesome so although that wasn't much, that is actually like a huge difference because like I was saying, when you go for a no lift shift, uh, you stab the uh, throttle pedal all the way to the floor, you're under boost, you're under crazy amounts of load. The second the clutch starts to release, um, it needs the ignition to cut, otherwise you are going to fry the clutch until you get to the point where it starts to cut. Um, so that needs to be as early as possible in my opinion. Uh, so right when you touch the clutch, it should just cut and let you into the other gear um, as your foot is going down the stroke of the clutch. And then uh, you'll be letting off the clutch and uh, it should come back on. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching that one. That was a pretty quick and easy install and modification, whatever you want to call it. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.